with another um, fun technique. This is more of a fun interactive card that um, we are making at our stamp club this month. So I thought I would make a video and share this with you because I've never actually made one of these cards before. So this is called a shutter card and for this card I used the Detailed with Love stamp set which is retiring the end of May. And for the flowers I used the four petal punch and then the leaf punch. And I use my oval dies. And when you slide off the belly band and open it up, ta da! You get that magic. And it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be to make. So I thought I would make another one, this time using our new Good Morning Magnolia bundle that is coming out in our new annual catalog. And let's get started. So there are quite a few tutorials for this online. I chose to use the uh, tutorial by Sandy McIver. So um, pretty straightforward. This is a eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock, and I'm using my scoring tool and I'm scoring down at the two and one eighths mark, and then also the six and three eighths. So one, two, three. I should also mention I am using mossy metal cardstock and these two pieces measure three and a half by four. So I'm lining it up with the four inch, um, the four inch side lined up at the top and I'm scoring down at the half inch mark. And I'm gonna do this to both pieces. For the designer series paper, I'm using our new Magnolia Lane designer series paper. It's part of the Magnolia Lane um, suite. It's absolutely stunning. And these two pieces have been cut at one and three quarters by five and one eighths. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them on the two panels. I'm using my snail adhesive. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, fold these down and use my bone folder to get a good crease. So this is the gate fold card. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. So here's another piece of um, cardstock and it measures five and a half by three. And this designer series paper measures five and a quarter by two and three quarters. So I'm going to put that on. Now I want to use my circle die to cut out a circle from this. I'm actually just going to put this right about here so it's not right up at the top and you are just centering it so it's about the same distance on each side and then run that through the big shot. So I've got my magnetic platform down and actually I love that flower here so I'm going to turn it that way. Okay, put my plate on and zip it through. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that aside. Okay, I've brought in my um, grid paper and I'm taking the two pieces of cardstock that measure three and a half by four and with the score line on the left, I'm lining it up in the corner. I'm going to line up my ruler with the one and three quarters mark and down here at the two inch mark. So I'm just gonna put my ruler here. So my two inch mark is here. And then from that dot in the center, I'm lining up my ruler to the corner and I'm just gonna draw a line and do exactly the same thing over here. Okay. Then I'm lining these up. Okay, so with both of these papers stacked on top of each other, I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut right up to that line Right up to the center, I should say. Okay. Those are ready. So now I'm taking some dimensionals. 
and I'm going to put one right up near the top. And I'm just going as close to those edges as I can because you want to leave room when these go on here. You want to re leave room for them to go back and forth. So actually now that I'm doing that, I think I'm going to put another dimensional right there. Alrighty, so because I see the pen mark here, I mean we could have used a pencil, but I'm going to flip it over and score both of those. And I'm taking my tear tape and I'm going to put that on each one. So where those little folds are, that's where I'm going to put the tape. All right, this is just getting, oh, I'm going to keep that open. This gets slid underneath this panel, and I'm pretty much just recreating Sandy's tutorial, to be honest, just changing a few things and a few designs and patterns, but her tutorial was just excellent. Um, so I'm just moving this down just a bit so there's a little bit of a gap here. Take off the tape. The backing, I should say. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up so you can see. So I don't have this flush with the crease, I'm leaving just a tiny bit of a gap there, and then close that, and then that's what pulls that piece back and forth. That's it, it's a mechanism for this. So easy. So now we're gonna do the same thing, and this, you wanna make sure it's slid underneath that first one. Doing exactly the same thing. Okay, mom, there we go. Okay, watch. So now it opens. When you close this one a bit, you can see the little tips. Those just get snipped off with your scissors. Okay. So now I'm going to um, stamp my sentiment. So I'm just using a scrap piece of Whisper White. And the sentiments in this stamp set are just absolutely gorgeous. This is such a beautiful, beautiful bundle. So I'm going to use the Thinking of You. And I'm going to stamp that with my Early Espresso. So now I'm going to run this piece through the Bake Shot using another circle die. And this circle die is just a bit smaller than the one I used for this piece here. All right, so we're gonna open this up. And what's gonna happen is this gets tucked right underneath. And so before I glue it down, I just wanna make sure it's, um, that sentiment is gonna fit perfectly. Okay. So now I'm just taking some of my liquid glue and um, I recommend using the glue because you can wiggle this around a little bit to position it. And I'm just sliding it right underneath those pieces and see I can slide it around to get it positioned where I want. So now when I open it, I have my little shutter window. Isn't that neat? So for the belly band portion, this is 11 by 1 and I'm just loosely folding it over. Trim that off and take a couple glue dots and I'm going to put them on the end of this strip. And then I'm going to have an embellishment over that seam so that won't be seen. So I'm going to put that aside. 
Okay, so I have my stamp apparatus and I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This measures five and a half by four and a quarter. And now I'm bringing in this beautiful Good Morning Magnolia and I'm gonna use the great big one. And I haven't actually done this, this whole particular shutter card with this bundle. Um, I'm doing them for the first time while I'm filming. I just thought, why not put the camera on while I do it? So I wanted to put this nice big stamped image on the front of that card. Okay. Where's my stamp set? I'm putting the stamp set underneath to support that stamp while I ink it up. I'm using my early espresso and push down. Oh my word. Is that beautiful or is that beautiful? That is so beautiful. Actually, I'm gonna keep that on there for a second. I'm gonna take this off. I'm going to spritz it with my mist and clean it. And I want to use um, Hello for the little banner, and I'm not sure what direction I'm going to have it in. So I'm just going to, whoops, I smudged that. Oops. I'm just going to put that kind of in the center down here, and then I can flag it on either the left or right side as I'm creating it. Okay. Ink. Stamp. I'm going to ink that up again, just make it a bit darker. Oh my goodness, I love the Stamparatus. Okay, I could see that the ink is still a bit wet on this, so I'm going to zap it with my heat tool. Okay, so I'm taking my petal pink marker, and I'm just adding some color. And of course, because I used early espresso, it is pulling some of that color up as well. But uh, I knew that was going to happen, and I'm A-OK -okay with that happening. I like the look of that. I'm taking my Soul Saffron marker. I'm just going in the center. And I'm going to take the Clear Wink of Stella. And I'm going to cover the entire petal, and that will also pull some of that ink out. So nice. Now because the leaves are quite big, I am going to use my Aqua Painter with my ink pad just because it covers quicker and easier, and I love my Aqua Painter, so... Squeeze some of that out, tap some of that off. Start up near the top. And again, the early espresso ink is not waterproof, so it will pull some of that ink through, but um, for this card, I'm okay with that because I wanted kind of that vintagey look. back into these and add some more ink. For the stem, I'm not going to use any ink. I'm just going to pull that ink with my aqua painter and the water just colored it for me. So now we have wonderful dies in this bundle. So that fits perfectly. Gonna run that through the big shot. Okay, so I've got my card here and you'll see I also have another piece of mossy metal and I ran this through the big shot with the largest scallop circle die and then I also ran it through the uh, layered leaves embossing folder and that's not going to be seen a whole lot because this is going to go on top but it's enough that you see a little bit of texture peeking through and then I'm just um, sponging on some early espresso just so that when this goes on top it kind of breaks up um, you know breaks up against that band so to speak and you know what I'm going to lightly go on top and just make these pronounced a little bit more very lightly sponging this brown on top I'm actually gonna take that off 
And I'm going to take my glue and just put it on like that. So I'm just centering that on the belly band. And then I have our new Magnolia Lane Ribbon Combo Pack. So it's got the green um, twine and then it's got this beautiful color here. And this is the one that I'm going to, to use. And I think I'm going to take my bone folder and just add a little bit of... You know what? You guys, bear with me. I'm going to do something so wild and crazy. Uh, in this bottle, this is um, just from the dollar store, it is 70% rubbing alcohol, and I mix um, a few drops of my Champagne Shimmer Mist. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I spritz this on almost everything. My hair, my skin, my clothes, my dogs, my cats. No, I'm just kidding. Well, kind of, not really. Anyhow, I spritz this on everything. I love it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, I know I put Clear Wink of Stella on this, but that's very very shimmery this isn't going to be that shimmery but I want to crumple this up and give it dimension and hope that it turns out and I'm not spraying much because I don't want that brown ink to to bleed too much and I crumpled it up are you guys going what the heck is that girl doing right and then while this is still damp it's not like soaking wet or anything but it's enough that it's pliable and then it'll dry nice and hard um, I'm just bending things up, giving them a little bit of texture, and then because that shimmer paint is in there, it's um it's sparkly, but it's still not as sparkly as the flower is with that clear wink of Stella. And I I just love that look. Okay, dimensionals. Dimensionals, there they are. So I'm going to start with just three in the center and then I'll tuck some more under as I need them. And now actually, I should have done this before I peeled off the backings of those, but it's okay. So I'm just going to position this and see how, oh, I like it like that. I can tell you right away. Okay, and I'm going to tuck a couple more dimensionals under these. glue dots and we're going to put the ribbon on there. I don't know. I almost don't know if that's too much. I kind of think it is. I'm going to just make, I'm just going to make a knot and um, see how that looks. Oops. Use my craft scissors. I know we don't sell these anymore, but I love them. Oh, see? I like that better. I might have to save that bow for something else. I just think it's too big for this particular project. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's too big. So, I think I'm going to go with the knot. I'm going to take my trimmer and trim this out. I want to make sure it fits inside the um the envelope and I should have done this before I put my ribbon on but I, I honestly I forgot about my hello so I'm gonna peel up peel up that ribbon tilt it a bit so it goes underneath that banner and I'm gonna put a 
glue dot under there. See how I just folded that up and kind of tucked it under so that it's not straight. I said I'm going to give a little bit of dimension to these ribbon bits. So I'm going to put one there and do the same thing. There. Okay, so I have just misted both the inside and outside of the card with the champagne shimmer mist. So everything is all shimmery and pretty, especially the flower with all that clear wink of Stella. And take off the belly band. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, I could decorate it and add some flowers to show you the first one. Um, so I've got the 3D flowers on here, and then on the inside, I have the flowers on the inside. And that was more because the pattern paper didn't have a design on it per se, and I wanted to add some um, of that front color onto the inside. But this one, it's got such a pretty pattern. I don't think, you know, I have to have any 3D flowers or anything extra on the inside. Just wanna keep doing that all day long. It's like a peekaboo. So I know there are, you know, different tutorials, different things that you can do for this um, technique, but I really liked this particular um, way of doing them. And these are definitely special cards for special people, um, but they're really easy and they really are fun. I sure hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this card for you. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to part with these two. I think I might keep them for display purposes, but I know I'm definitely gonna be making more and um, the possibilities are endless. You can make them cute, you can make them whimsical, you can just do so much with them. So I hope you try this technique. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. Thank you for watching. Happy stamping.